Hi, my name is Jen. Welcome to my channel. I am on a journey of transformation, self-discovery, and self-love. And I would love for you to join me on that journey. So come on. Hi everybody, welcome to my weekly weigh-in check-in video. It is a weigh-in Wednesday. And I'm so glad you're here with me. We're going to check in to see how my week went this week. Um, week 23 of my weight loss, keto weight loss journey. And to see how I'm doing. So I'm so thankful for you um, joining me today. If you're new, welcome. I post every Wednesday a weekly weigh-in to see how I'm doing. Check in with my my supporters and friends and inspira inspirers. Um, if you're returning, welcome back. I'm so glad to have you with me on the journey. Thank you for joining me today. So we're going to talk a little bit about my week. So as you guys know, I've been doing my um, Perfectly Imperfect 30-Day Challenge. And I had to restart it because I fell off the wagon. And I can say, honestly say, I have been really consistent. I have done seven days. Today is day eight. But for the past seven days, I've been consistently checking off those check marks, following my plan and doing really well so I've been exercising at least 20 minutes a day exercising isn't the right word I want to say moving I've been moving my body um, for at least 20 minutes a in day. a variety of different ways so I've been doing yoga I've been doing some stretching I've been doing treadmill walking outdoor walking and that is the sound of construction in my house and I'm sorry you're just gonna have to deal with me <laughs> I had to film this video so we're just gonna make it happen we're just gonna deal with it okay Thank you for understanding. Um, it is a great claim. The lighting's a little different. I don't have one light on, so let's see how this looks today. Anyway, so I have been moving my body, uh, going for walks, walking on the treadmill, doing yoga, doing stretching, um, all sorts of weight training. Um, you'll see some of these, some of my, I filmed some of my um, adventures, movement adventures. I'll put the, you can see those, check those out here. And um, so, yeah, I've been doing that. I've been drinking the water. I've been tracking my food and eating under or at. I had one day I went over. Tracking my food and eating under or at my daily goals. So, I've been doing great. Um, I feel really great about my, my, um, my commitment level, how I've been sticking to the program. I feel really great about the choices I'm making. I feel really good in my body. I definitely can feel... Um, the change is happening in me physically. Um, my clothes are too big. Um, so yeah, so I'm feeling really great with all of, I guess what you would call non-scale victory. So that is going well. Um, I also got a ketone monitor. So this is a little uh, blood monitor that will measure the ketones in my blood to see if I'm in ketosis. Because remember, we want my body, the, the goal of eating ketogenically is that my body is gonna switch from burning glucose for energy and is gonna convert my uh, fat that I have stored in my body to ketones. And then I'll be burning fat and using um, ketones to give my body energy. So I got a little, blood monitor and guess what I'm in ketosis anything 0.5 and above is good I want to try to hit that one number one mark so um, hopefully I'll get there but I am in ketosis so that's good the scale kind of has shown that over the last 23 weeks but it's nice to have this little um, other tool to help me on my journey so all these people are in my house and it is so hard to film I'm sorry. So all of those things are going really well for me. Um, and I feel, like I said, feel good. feel like I'm doing on the journey. But let's talk about something called plateaus. So I haven't been in a holding pattern for the last three weeks. Around 191, 291, 190, I wish. 291 and 289. And I've just been going up and down. Um, those numbers for the past three weeks. Today I got on the scale and I weighed 289.6. So I'm up a little bit from last week, 0.6 of a pound. And, you know, I really don't consider this a gain. I really consider this a plateau. I'm really bouncing back between these within three pounds of one another. So 191 to, to 
289. I keep going in between these numbers and this is stinks. Plateauing is something that's very common in weight loss, even though I don't like it, and I really haven't experienced it. I may have experienced it about 10 weeks ago or so, I guess, but um, it is what it is, and you just have to keep going. Your body just decides we're going to hold on to some fat, we're going to hold on to some water, we're going to put water in our fat cells, and we're going to hold on to these fat cells because you're going to need them. Your body just decides it's tired of losing weight and it's gonna just maintain and you're gonna hold on to water. And then one day I will start peeing like a racehorse <laughs> and my the swoosh is gonna happen. And I'm just gonna trust the process. It's happened to me in the past and I'm sure it will happen again. I'm just gonna keep going, keep doing what I'm doing. I am, to say that I'm not disappointed would be a lie. So I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I am a little disappointed because I was hoping that a week work of exercise, of moving, intentionally moving my body, getting on that treadmill would give me a bigger weight loss on the scale. When in fact, it did not do that. Wah, wah. <laughs> so, I, like I said, I not to say that I'm not disappointed would be a lie. I am a little disappointed, I was excited and hoping for something that I didn't receive, but that doesn't mean that I'm not gonna get it in the future. So, with that said, you know, the, the, the something that I've said over and over again on my channel is to trust the process. That I'm, we're in this journey, we're on this journey, not for an immediate gratification of what's gonna happen on the scale this week. But we're on this journey together because of what's gonna happen on the scale in six months, in a year, next January. What, what, how is my life going to be next January? So we're in it for the process, the long haul, the, the long-term health benefits. Oh, another little story I want to share with you guys. So, you know, I, I've been doing this for about five months now and, um, been noticing many, many changes in my life, many benefits that I've been, um, gaining from having changed my um, eating habits and recently starting to move more. I can I can do more physically. I can get on the floor a little bit easier. I can get up off the floor a little bit easier. Still can't really cross my legs. I've been thinking about doing a video just to show you the movement that I have, what I can do now um, to be able to compare it to like in six months to see how much more I can move in six months. So I've been thinking about that. That might come down the road. But um, what I do want to share with you, so I made an appointment to see my doctor. I haven't seen my doctor like since 2019, a long time, right? So um, I made an appointment. I was so proud of myself, my progress. I know that last time I visited her, I was like over 300 pounds. I had just gotten over shingles. Yes, I had shingles in my 40s. It was not fun. Um, and so, and she had wanted me to lose weight and I didn't go back to her cause she said check in in three months and I wasn't losing weight. And so I wasn't going to go visit her <laughs> if I wasn't, didn't have any good news to give her. <laughs> so, um, anyway, so I was so excited. I, I was going to visit her because I, um, I had some good news. I had lost 40 pounds. Right. And so I went to see her and I've shared kind of in my very first video about some, I have some trauma when it comes to doctors. Um, my whole life, um, most of the trauma happened when I was younger. Just this, um, always being told to lose weight, always being told that I needed to stop eating and that I needed to do this and that I needed to do this. And it, 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 it had, I have some scars from it and, and especially plays out when my children see the doctor. But, um, so I have some trauma, um, from doctor's visits from my childhood. So, um, but I really like this doctor. Um, and I was really excited. I really thought she was going to be so happy for me and so happy for the progress I met. And she was a little bit of a Debbie Downer. She was a little wah wah. She's like, okay, well, you know, you're going to, um, it's going to get harder now. And you know, when you exercise, you have to do this and you need to watch your salt and just like, she didn't have any like words of encouragement or she didn't have any like, well done, good job, you've done great so far. It was just kind of 
disappointing. I was just really kind of like, oh, you were not as excited as I had hoped you would be. Granted, she's a new doctor to me because my, my doctor who had been with me for the like past 15 years retired. So, um, yeah, I have to go back. I have to get blood work done and I have to go back in four weeks. So maybe I'll tell her about her bedside manner and be like, you know, I came in here so excited because I have done so, I had made so much progress and I've, I'm conquering something that has been uh, struggling. I've been struggling with my whole life, my whole life, which she doesn't know because she's only known me for a couple of years and it's only seen me twice in like three years. So anyway, it might have just been an off day for her. I really like her generally. I think she's a, a wonderful doctor and a great, you know, She's also kind of a fitness buff herself. So anyway, I just want to share that with you guys. So don't let that discourage you either because you will make, you will get people when you tell them about what you're doing and, and, um, and, and the things you're accomplishing, especially like if you're setting small goals and you're not like, you know, running marathons yet. <laughs> that, that's what, that was the thing I showed her. I brought my fitness pal and I showed her all the exercising that I've been doing because you guys know how hard exercise is for me. Oh yeah, so I had to take my fitness pal out to show her all the um, the exercise that I've been doing. And she was like, oh, well you need to get it up. You need to be in this red zone, cardio zone. And I'm like, lady, I just started. I'll get there. I'm just at the beginning. Give me a, give me a minute to get there. Anyway, I just wanna show that with you guys in case any of you experience um, something similar just to be proud of yourself don't don't be, be proud of yourself for where you are now not to where you need to be because the steps you're the, the steps you're taking now you should be proud of yourself for those things so anyway that is all for this week's video um, next week is my 24 week even though it's it's not six months it's 24. I had to figure this out for myself because that's four goes into 24 six times, but it's not six months. It's still five months. I don't know. Maybe I'll cut that out. <laughs> ne join me next week is 24 um, weeks. I will have photos, measurements. We'll do a little body shot to kind of check in to see um, before and after how, what I've done and how I've transformed in the last 24 weeks. It'll be fun. I'm mean, looking forward to pulling out the photos and kind of doing side by sides to see how I am transforming my body. So I'm so glad. Thank you for watching. Um, please remember to give me a big thumbs up. Um, leave a comment. I love to read your comments. I really appreciate them. And I love to read them and respond to them. Make sure you ring that bell so you get notifications every time that I post. As always, I want you to have a wonderful week. Take care of one another, love one another, but most importantly, love yourself because you are worth it. Bye-bye.